Hello guys, me Carlos up this aka Happy Carl95 and welcome to another edition of F1 2020 Career Mode. So, this is the Belgium Grand Prix and it went pretty well. I'm telling you, I'm just satisfied with the run. Although I don't have qualifying on here, I have parts of the race to be honest and I was sniffing that top 10 run that I needed and the bad news is I got a three second penalty in my time, you know, time penalty, I'd say. So, so yeah, that relegated my run to in 16th place. But good news is, I got driver of the day and I came from the back and then got a, several spots at the end. I'm telling you, even though the time penalty really killed me there and I realized, yeah, I shouldn't have knew better and rate smarter, that's all, to get those points. Especially when I was trying to get to Pierre Gasly, and he just drove away from me, to be honest. And so there's my trophy from the Austrian Grand Prix right there, and that was the key moment in which I actually... Got a victory. And there's the end racism uh, bumper sticker I got. Hmm. So let's kick the highlights from where we stand as I was doing the pit. Ugh. Making a pit stop. <laughs> so I was having a good run right here and yeah. I wanted to pit early so I can get on fresh tires and gain on the drivers that were ahead of me. So that's usually normal in a normal. <laughs> Why do I keep saying normal? <laughs> in a more steady approach to trying to gain spots. So, so what can I say? I'm just. My goal was to pit, pass a few back markers, and then see where the pit strategy holds. And basically, the good news is I did not crash in the, into anybody or run up, use the run up area to defend the guys behind me, and they don't pass me, and that's a good thing, you know? Um, hmm. So, this is gonna be like a short mini video, and I'm really satisfied about this run. And I'll get back to you guys in a few moments. I have to do some errands as I got a few Christmas gifts right here. Got gift cards right here. So, I'll read my Christmas cards and I'll get back to you guys later.
and we're back to the restart as it's lap 10 of 11 here at the Belgium Grand Prix so I'm right here in Pierre Gasly and uh, I'm trying to figure out who tried to pass me here yeah Nick Debris yep as I went right wide on that turn Nick Debris like ruined my Nice run, and he just, I don't know, got a good run, and I just lost a few seconds ahead of Pierre Gasly, and didn't score any points. That's all I can say. So, what have you, how, how have you guys looked at my racing videos lately? Did you like F1 2020? Did you like NASCAR Heat 5 throughout the season? From July to now in December you have a like button if you love the video so much click on that bell button if you want to subscribe for more content share a comment below the description if you want to share some thoughts and feelings with the community make them feel welcome so all I can say is support my channel I will put more content throughout the New Year's and when my school begins, which will be mid-January, so I'll still go back to school, but for one final semester before I can go to ODU, so <sighs> I'm telling you, life and racing, they go together very well, but ooh, man. What happened? I think it's the final lap. So let's look at this final lap around Belgium. Which I can tell you it's Spa. From Control. Okay. I went, I went for that corner very well and running away from Nick to. You know, that's Lance Stroll. Yeah, it's a. It, it's really small for me to see the list of names in the top right corner or top left corner. I mean, what's it gonna take to outrun these guys? You know, I have the best equipment, but if I can't score points on a regular basis, what's the use of running in this series? You know, I mean, if I Run 11 for 15, then I'll kick my ass on myself to not get those uh, points finishes. And what would happen there? Oh, I got a warning from the steward saying I used the runoff area to gain more seconds on the guy ahead of me. So. <laughs> the last lap. I'm just gonna ride around here and I don't care if I lose spots or not. But I did get a time penalty like I've told you early in the video. So you know, just take it easy so you don't lose many spots. So here I am. I officially I unofficially finished eleventh but in a running order I get a three second time penalty which will relegate me to 16th, so. But the award I get is Driver of the Day, Mr. Santos. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the race results from Belgium. Wait for it. Valtteri Bottas wins the race. And who else will be highlighted in this? Yep, there's Lewis Hamilton with Botas along with, I believe, Max Verstappen or Alexander Elbon. I don't know. It looks like Alexander Elbon. Yeah, because he look, he's a Thai... Uh, Citizen, Thailand citizen. I 
let's just wait until the results come in and see where everybody ends up. I'm gonna squint a little bit, so don't worry about how my face is. So that's Botas, Helmet, then Albon, Leclerc. And that's me in 16th place. And me in the point standings, I'm 7th. Not bad. But I can improve a lot better if I use my improved driver IQ in these past review YouTube videos and see where I end up. So I guess that's it for the commentary. So I'm aka Happy Car 95. Y'all have a good Christmas and a Happy New Year and peace out. race from our perspective. Let's have yours. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Your teammate beat you today. Was it a setup issue or something else? That was a close finish. How were things between the two of you? Great. Well, that's everything. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So I'm aka Happy Carnot 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.